Take that. And that. And that. That's hey guys, welcome break. back to more Slap and Splicers. Splap, Splap and spli Splicers. So yeah, what I was going to say was like, you notice that big one above where your health is? Because we just picked up a health kit, but we didn't actually gain any health it looks like. So mm -hmm. it kind of looks like it's it's following the tradition of, of the first Bioshock game where you can have more than one bar of health. Really? Is yeah. So what it is is that you have actually have to no, use your medical medical kits mm -hmm. instead of just instead of just like automatically picking one up and healing. Yeah. So I think that was like I think when we looked at the controls it was G to use your med kit. So we have one in reserve. I don't know if it uses it automatically though. I forget how that went. See, where what is this? So we're in some little kids section. It is teaching them communism. A lie to the people. Delusion. Hypocrite. Moochers is stealing. A stupid idea. <laughs> Empathy is for weak people. Apparently. I can be empathetic to that. No, I can't. Oops. Oh. Did you just smack the screen? Oh, you broke I, it. I smacked the screen. I didn't smack the projector. Oh. I thought you broke it okay, for a second there. All right. here. Oh. Oh, kill. wait. Can we get a crossbow here? Even if it's a kid's crossbow? Um, no, they're all all out of crossbows for today. Dang it. For the pacification of disruptive children? Can we get one? Do we not get we one? Can't, no, we're not allowed to have oh, oh, here it is. Are you sure you're ready to use that? It's a crossbow. Looks like the bolt delivers some kind of sleep agent. Probably fencyclidine or sodium thiopental. Of course, stealth, you need a trink. Yep. They had all kinds of books in my tower. How do you think I always knew what ammo to toss you? No one. Ain't the same as being ready. So we have one. Stock how ready I was. We'll, we'll have more. Your father's blood runs in your veins. We'll but it more. doesn't have to be we'll on more. your hands. And what it's up to you. Headshot him. Those who cannot Tranquilizer to the head might hurt. And now we're out of ammo. No, we have more here. Oh. There's a freaking vent ass one. We got some Eve, even though. Oh. So apparently we're gonna get more weapons because. What? We got a bunch of ammo. Oh. Jesus. What does Ryan the Lion tell us about the tragedy of the common? Good shot. <laughs> All right, get that thing back. Oh, hey, oh. a hand cannon. Hold the. Oh, so well, I wonder. Uh, if, I, I wonder if this that. is more like. If this is more like, because one of the one of the problems that we had with the first game, with the first episode, was that we just kept running out of ammo and not knowing like. Oh yeah. Where the hell to get any? So, I I was replaying this on my PS3 and I realized that like the the gun system was not the same as it was in the original infinite where you can only carry two guns mm -hmm. it was more like the original bioshock where you actually once you got a gun you had it for the whole game yeah but there was like a, a weapon wheel so you had to hold down the switch weapon uh button in order to like actually choose what weapon you want so we probably had all the guns and we just didn't know how to fucking switch it <laughs> Yeah, because I remember we had like ammo for other crap. And yeah, like, and we just well, we don't have like, that gun. Yeah, right it's like now. well, where the hell are we gonna pick those up? And we, apparently we had them all, and we just didn't know how to switch the damn thing. So, so stupid. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe this one is is more like the is more like infinite because it looks like we can only care. We only have the two guns, right now. We have a hand cannon and a crossbow. Oh, oh, oh. That you, honey? Oh, no, it's no. not. <laughs> Honey's not home. Beans. Come on. Don't leave me out here with my uh -oh. in my head. Is he following? Seventy five cents. Oh we got we got a buffet out here. Hell yeah. Seventy five cents oh twenty five cents Come for this on. fly for ridden. Gruel. Fly gruel. Is he there? I don't see him. I don't see the little bars. He might, he might just be on the other side of the door. Yes, he's not back here. Uh, oh, I don't see him. Was he on that side? Sincerity. That's what I'm lacking. Yep, got him. Right in the ass. 
I like how it makes a little noise when you get them too. It's like bling. Yeah, Bioshock always had that. Okay. Yeah. Was that in, regular, in the first one? I don't remember, to be honest. Well, I do remember, though, that, yeah, if you got a headshot on them, it would it would kind of do that noise. So we're in the faculty office, looks like. Do you know where we're supposed to be going, actually? Nope. Yeah, because I kind of missed the part where it was telling us to do things. Oh, um, we can always turn on the... Navigation. Oh, did you turn, did you turn it off for this? Uh, no, I just you just can not press using. a button and it'll have a big ass arrow and tell you where to go. So. Yeah, I remember. Look at this tenon bomb. Right, right, visionary. Cohen, artist. Fuck that guy. And who's that? Who is it? Oh, that's is supposed that to be Su Chong? Chong. Yeah, he was the guy who I think who invented uh Oops. who invented Eve <laughs> and Adam. Adam and Eve. At the Mindy. Oh. Ah, I get to take a look around. Mm. This reminds me of those parts in, uh... Wait a minute, I can't even talk to you about that, because I was going to say, it reminds me of the parts in Chrono Trigger where you're sneaking <laughs> through the vents, and it's like, right, Joey's never played Chrono Trigger How about past. in uh, Goldeneye, yeah. when you're playing the, in the facility? Oh, yeah, yeah, just yeah, going yeah. To, You spawn in the bathroom and just jump on someone's head? Right. I, I remember that. He's just, he's just going to the bathroom, man. I guess that's the way we gotta go to the exit. Yeah. Open the door. Look, Suchal. That's the name you had me tell Atlas. Huh. Huh. I don't follow. Looks like this character, Suchong, has taken over the Silverfin restaurant. Wait, so Suchong is down here, too? That's where the tear was that I used when I first came to Rapture looking for Comstock. Ah. Before this place was turned into a prison. But the first time you came to Rapture was in 1960, with Booker, when you drowned some. Over a year from now. Yeah, that, that, that's right. I, uh. When I could see all the doors, it, it all made sense, but now. Oh, okay. God. Now it's, it's just a jumble. Elizabeth, you're bleeding. Now I know what it feels oh, like. Oh, hey, that's pretty. All right. If we're gonna find Su Chong, the Silverfin is the place to start. Okay. I know the way. Go to the Silverfin restaurant. I'm getting there. Seafood. Well, I mean, what else are they gonna eat down here? Yeah, really, that's all they got. <laughs> oh, you don't have any lockpicks. I will. Oh, there's, got, there's one around here, right? Gotta be someone, someone somewhere. Can you go in here? There's one in the garbage can. Oh, hey, there's a... It's a jukebox? Oh, it's a film. Sex without compromise. Oh. I always like that. <laughs> oh, right, these things. Human reproduction is vitally important to society, but there is no reason that the no. act of copulation cannot be pleasurable as well. Hey, that's right. Sex is egotistical. Wow. are revealed to be fraudulent, hypocritical animals. Wow. <laughs> Consent. Mutually beneficial. <laughs> this reminds huh. me. Of, okay, like nobody except none of our friends except for me and Chia watch The Office. I'm assuming, right? Wait, what? You don't watch The Office? Uh, the American one? Uh, yeah. I, I've watched. I watched it up to a certain like point, maybe like season five or something. Of the American one? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Surprisingly. Yeah, there's... Okay, you know all the characters, right? Mm-hmm. So you... Yeah. I don't actually know if that's in season... It might be in season six, when Dwight and Angela have, like... Never mind. Don't they get together and... They do, they but then there's... Stuff? Well, I don't want to spoil it for you. It's the office. It's okay. It's not like I've, okay, I have Okay, yeah, really... they get, like... They decide to... They... They, like, make a deal. Uh-huh. <clears throat> where it's like they... They have this whole, like, lawyer and everything where they... they can. They cancel this deal of them right to like. After I came through, of, I needed, I needed something to of wear Dwight to make a baby rapture, for Angela. Right? Oh. <laughs> and so they 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 had like this whole contract all written out and everything, and then at one point they decided to cancel wow. it and then just make it have these five times what? Ooh. Lockpick bag. Five sexes and then that's it. And wow. Then they would cancel. But 
All this stuff happens. So that's what... Oh, uh, okay. I can see how that would remind you of that. Are we in, like, a movie theater? Oh, we got three lockpicks. Yep. No, we're in the restaurant. Oh, God. Just don't get the red one. Pretty sure... It feels like it, it's really easy to it's not It's going hit. to get worse. Yeah. Audio diaries. Antonio Rodriguez. Receive your letter regarding our new line of peeping tom plasmids and wish to respond as <laughs> Tough luck. This is rapture, miss. What my customers do with my product is their business. If you are feeling uncomfortable, you are more than welcome to line the walls of your home in lead. If you wish, <laughs> I could direct you to a reputable supplier. So, yeah, so, this is not a restaurant. <laughs> okay, so we're this is a goddamn strip club. Yeah, we're in a strip club in the nineteen like fifties, uh, hey. late nineteen fifties. Uh, I think there was an employees only door on the left there. Where? Oh, oh. there it is. Yeah, there we go. Gonna get that peeping tom plasma. Doesn't want me to do a show. Oh, oh, oh! Peeping tom. Oh. Um, you can be invisible. Yeah, okay. Wow, that's a lot of uses actually for. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, okay. oh, you have to hold it. I think. No, I don't think you do. See, I think there's, there's a little timer on the bottom there. So when you push it. Oh, you can see through. You can see them. Okay. That makes things so much easier. I was wondering. You just take hey, that, baby. Oh yeah, she left. I was wondering when we're gonna get like some sort of radar. Yeah. It's not like Melgar Solid Three. We actually don't have one. Nice. I'm gonna need that back, please. <laughs> I'm gonna need that back. It's like the same tranquilizer bullet she's been using. Yeah. Can only last for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, you can hold it and you can turn completely invisible. Oh, okay. That's but what you it, do. it it, yeah, it keeps drains ticking your off. Thing. No wonder. Yeah. So we have to drink coffee. What's it eat? No, don't stop it with the gun. I like that. It just like pauses it. Yeah, you're right about it. Okay, yeah, it, it's like it it staggers it. It doesn't go like just yeah. all the way back, all the way forward. Because it would be too easy, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Where, where you at? All right, take him out. <laughs> and all right, well, I think that does it for this episode. Yeah. What did you mean before when you said you were in? Or maybe Paris. not. Well, it wasn't really Paris. It was more. It was more the world. Yeah, more the world is like what to do. I wasn't really happy. <laughs> Just imagine her. Alright, so next time on Slap and Splicers. Slap and Splicers. We're gonna slap some more Splicers. In the ass. This guy's face is all messed up. Ugh, Harvey Dent? <laughs> <laughs>